rest here. Me and Peter and me down had a conversation. He's going to pull out. And Peter phoned me this morning when he's pulled out. I went, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know the conversation we had yesterday evening? I went, yeah, yeah. He went, no, really, he's pulled out. What's his, what's his injury? He's injured his leg on the way home from um, the plane or whatever he's done. So, you know, it is what it is. You know, a lot of people, um, especially in the boxing community and boxers themselves, don't really feel that Vladimir Klitschko was injured. If you don't know, this is a little bit of a subplot, but his um, his wife, the mother of his child, is going through major, from what the media is reporting, we don't know how to take it seriously, but basically she's she's having the blues. She's a little bit depressed. And, you know, it can be good that Klitschko has to be training for the biggest fight of his career at this point in time and having a newborn baby and she having to do all the work but of course I'm sure they got nannies and maids these people are rich but basically Tyson Fury has been saying even before he even got the Klitschko fight that if he would that if he will fight Klitschko Klitschko will likely pull out to injury and this guy has had that type of luck but the good thing is the fight is rescheduled November the 28th 2015 and um, it's basically only a month off so, I'm um, T-Street Controversy. This is T-Street Controversy Live. I cover every single major fight live. And I, I just, I'm, I'm thinking, like, what can Vladimir Klitschko, like, be working on or need the extra time for when fighting a Tyson Fury? Now, Tyson Fury is 6'9", 250 pounds on a good day. He's a very good boxer. A lot of American fans I've learned are, they, they like, for one, I'm sure you're not staying up. I'm sure you're not staying in the house. A lot of American fans are not in the house on Tuesday afternoons going through, I mean, not Tuesday, Saturday afternoons going through hell to try to watch a Tyson Fury fight. Like, I have to do long story. But to be able to watch some of these fights is just, especially for a fighter who's been fighting on um, Box Nation. Luckily, in the States, HBO was showing this fight. But to be able to watch previous Tyson Fury fights, for example, Tyson Fury's fight against Derek Chisora to rematch, you know, it wasn't broadcast here in the States. So the point I'm trying to make is I know a lot of fans are not um, educated on exactly who Tyson Fury is. He's a very good boxer and he's good for the sport. Why? Because he's charismatic. He can sing, he can dance, he can talk shit, you know, and he can fight. He beat Derek Chisora. This is a six foot nine, 250 man pound man. He was like 260 when he fought uh, Derek Chisora. He beat him southpaw. He can box. He's got long reach. The only problem is he could be a bit clumsy sometimes. But this is a fighter whose chin, if his chin holds up, you know, and I'm starting to learn more about the traveler and the gypsy community, they don't get knocked out. If his chin holds up, he has a good chance to solidly outbox Vladimir Klitschko. Tyson Fury can move. He can dance. He can move. So, you know, I don't understand, like, why people are saying, oh, you know, he's going to get knocked, quote, unquote, spark out. Vladimir Klitschko is going to make him his baby. And I'm thinking, like, have you watched Tyson Fury fight? Now, I'm saying it's a 50-50 fight. But when it comes to, like, if Tyson Fury doesn't move around the ring and doesn't use his boxing ability and try to sit there and, and, and dance toe-to-toe -to -toe with Vladimir Klitschko or, or go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Vladimir Klitschko, then he's going to likely lose. Vladimir Klitschko was too accurate. But if he keeps him on the outside of the jab and puts on a boxing ex exhibition, a boxing lesson, and have Vladimir Klitschko chasing him around the ring, then, you know, but, you know, of course we got to look at Tyson Fury has to stay away from the holding and the clinching of Klitschko. I'm sure they already know that, or it's going to be a boring, nasty fight, and Klitschko is likely going to win at that game. But like I said, I'm an American, and I've been watching Tyson Fury for the last four years, covering his fights here, every one on YouTube, every single Tyson Fury fight that I've seen on um over the last four yeah four years so i know what i'm talking about and i don't understand like how fans are just saying you know he's just going to get beat up by vladimir klitschko he's a legitimate threat and that's why this fight is on pay-per-view and it's it's been moved for scheduled a whole month um later and it's still on pay-per-view so you know this is a big global fight and i think american fans you know when they watch the fight especially see the build-up you know i wish america would have had an hbo 24 7 or some type of docudrama you know, um, type of, type of, you know, um, promo Amer for American, you know, so just so they can be able to see exactly who Tyson Fury is. Now, he did fight Steve Cunningham, beat Steve Cunningham on NBC, but that didn't do him no justice. And he did curse on national television.
but that didn't do him no justice. He's a fan that I really feel that if he becomes world champion, and remember, if he wins, he'll be the WBA, WBO, IBF ring, and he'll be the recognized champion at heavyweight, and he'll have all the belt. This is a massive, massive fight. So I can't wait to see it. I was actually pissed off because it was supposed to be this last week, and right now it's the 26th. It was supposed to be on the 24th. But still, I'm just glad that it's not in like Jan December, January, and February. It's just, you know, right now... 30 days away, 31, no, yeah, 31 days away. Um, T Street Controversy, this is T Street Controversy Live. I cover every single major fight live. Please subscribe.